In this video, I've got a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started with EasyBob. So what are you gonna need before you can get started? The first thing you're gonna need is an EasyBot account, and you'll find a link below this video. In this video, I'm gonna cover how to set up Binance. So you're gonna need a Binance account, and again, you'll find a link below the video. And you'll also need some BNB, which is the Binance coin, and you'll need some USTD, which is Tether, which is a stable coin. So let's look at number one. So below this video, you're gonna find a link. If you click that link, it will take you to a page just like this one. Then all you need to do in this first box is give yourself a username. Then in the next box, you pop in an email address. Make sure it's an email address that you open. Create yourself a password, what country you're in, your telephone number. See, once you've done that, you put a tick in that box there, a tick in this one to say, I'm not a robot, and then click register. Once you've completed the registration process, you're gonna come into what's called the dashboard. And as you can see here, this says, welcome to EasyBot, click here to get started. So there is lots of videos there to show you how to get started. And also, if you'll see here, is to set up your free marketing and training app. So now that you've got your EasyBot account set up, the next thing you need to do is to set up your trading account. And we're gonna be using Binance for that. And once again, below the video, you're gonna find a link. And that's going to bring you to a page just like this one. You need to accept all the cookies, uh, read that little pop-up notice there, and click I've got it once you understand that. And then in the top right-hand corner, click on register. You could sign up with a phone or an email, or you can get started with Google or your Google app. I'm just going to click on sign up with phone or email. You can either fill out with an email uh, and create a password, and uh, you would need to agree to the terms and conditions and the policy there or you could get set up with your uh, telephone number, your mobile number. Now, once you've got your Binance account set up, you will need to go through KYC and upload some documents and things like that. But once you've got it all up and running, then all you need to do is to add some funds to your Binance account. Now, you may have uh, cryptocurrency in another wallet that you can transfer into here. And if you need me to make a video on that, let me know. But if you don't have any cryptocurrency, you wanna buy it for the first time, if you come up to the top there, it says buy crypto and you've got all these options here to buy crypto. It doesn't matter which one you buy, whether you buy Bitcoin or USDT. I would recommend that you buy USDT. Then once you've got your funds inside your Binance account, we can move to the next stage and that is connecting your Binance account with your EasyBot account so that EasyBot can do trading for you. Now back in your EasyBot account from the dashboard, if you look there, you've got the EasyBot logo in the left-hand corner, and then you've got these two lines, one above the other. If you click on that, that opens up this side menu. Now what we're interested in is the bots and the My Wallet. So let's go to My Wallet first. Now you're gonna need to add some funds to your wallet here to get started. Now if you've got a free account, then all you need to do is to add about $20 worth of USTD, add it into here, so you can pay the profitable trading fees. And it's so simple, all you need to do is to click on this big blue button here that says deposit, you're sending USTD. You can either send it on the Tron blockchain or you can send it on the Binance smart chain. You choose which one you like. If you need me to make a video to go into a bit more detail about those, then let me know in the comments. You choose here the amount that you want to deposit. And then once you've done that, you click on agree to the terms and conditions and click add. That's going to give you a pop-up like this one. As you'll see, I put in $100 and it's going to charge me $2.51 fee. And then all you need to do is to copy this address and take that to the wallet where you're going to send your funds from. Now, that could be in Binance or, of course, it could be that you've got it in an external wallet. But let's assume that it's in your Binance account. So I'm going to copy that address, go over to my Binance, and if you see here, click on withdraw. You may get a pop-up like this one. You just click on got it. And then from this drop-down menu, we want to look for USTD. USTD. There we are. Uh, we pop the address in there. Then in this box, you need to choose the blockchain where the coins are going to be going. And we chose the Binance coin, which is the BEP20 there. So you choose that one there. You may get a pop-up like this. You just read that, and of course you say, yes, I'm sure. And then down here, you put in the amount. You put that amount that's there. You put that amount in there, and you click on withdraw. 
That will take you through some security process to make sure that it's you that's doing it and that somebody hasn't hacked your account. Once you've done that, we can then move on to the next stage. Now, while you're waiting for those funds to arrive, we can get our API key set up so that Binance and EasyBot can communicate with one another. So let's come back up to these two lines at the top here. And this time we're gonna go down to bots and we're gonna go down to user exchanges. As you can see with me, I've already got an exchange added and I've got Binance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new exchange. So I'm gonna click on this button that says add user exchange. So in here, you need to give the a connection name. So if you're connecting with Binance, I'd recommend that you put Binance in there. And then from this uh, drop down here, you need to choose the exchange. Well, I'm going to be doing Binance.com. You've got Binance.us and you've also got KuCoin. And then what we need is we need the API keys to go in here and the API secret key to go in there. And we're also going to need this uh, IP address that's down here. So let's go over to our Binance account. So in Binance, if you come up to the top there, there's like this head icon. If you hover your mouse over there, it gives you this drop down menu. What we wanna do is go down to API management. That's gonna bring us to this screen. As you can see, I've already got a couple of APIs already set up, but we're gonna click on this big button that says create API. Now what we want to do is we got to give this a label. So I'm gonna call this EasyBot demo. Then all you need to do is click next. You need to move this uh, security jigsaw puzzle across. And uh, it's going to ask you to get a verification code either to your email address or your mobile phone. And if you've already got the authenticator, the Google Authenticator set up, it's going to ask you to put that code in. So let me get these two codes. I need to click on these words that says get code. So here's the email, uh, create new API keys. So I click on that open up the email and this is the code that I want. Pop that into there. Now I need my Google Authenticator. I get that, pop that into there and click Submit. So there you go, my API keys have been created. I've got my API keys there and I've got my secret key. This secret key, you will only see one time, okay? So you need to make sure you don't uh, close this screen down. So what I'm gonna do is gonna copy the API key and take that back over to EasyBot. And I'm gonna pop that into there. Then I'm gonna come back and get the secret key. So I need to highlight all that, copy that, put that into there. Now before I click on the save button, the next thing I wanna do is to get this trusted IP address. Now that means that it's a particular server and it's EasyBot server is the only one that can talk to, communicate with your API keys, with these API keys inside your Binance account. So what we need to do to add that um, IP address in is we need to edit restrictions, okay? So we click on edit restrictions. And then if we look down here, it says restrict access to a trusted IP address only, recommended. Click in there, so it gives us this little text box. And then all we need to do is to make sure there's no characters after it or before. So we just go like that, and then we click confirm. So that IP address has been popped in there. Now what we need to do is to tell Binance what we want EasyBot to have access to. Now by default, enable reading has already got a tick in the box. And what we need to do is to put a tick in this box to enable spot and margin trading. All of the other boxes you leave completely no ticks in them because you don't want EasyBot to be able to withdraw. You don't want them to be able to take a loan or transfer funds from one account to another. So you don't need all of this stuff. All you need is this one here that says enable spot and margin trading and enable reading. Once you've done that, come to the top of the screen and click save. It's going to ask you for a security code that may be an SMS or an email address. In my case, it's my Google Authenticator. So I get that code and I pop that in there and that automatically submits it. So those APIs have been uh, saved and all set up. And uh, I can navigate away from this screen now. I don't need to worry about this screen anymore. And if I go back over to EasyBot and I click Save. So that's it. You've now set up a connection between your EasyBot account and your Binance account. So hopefully by now you've got some cryptocurrency sitting inside your Binance account. It doesn't matter what cryptocurrency. But what we need to do is to make sure that we've got some Tether so that EasyBot can carry out the trades. 
And we're also going to need to have a small amount of BNB. So if you come down the bottom here, you see I've got this small amount of BNB. I've got $25. Well, let's say you don't have any BNB and you want to get some. It's very easy. So let's assume that you've got some USTD in your account. And if you go over to the right here, you'll see it says convert. So you click on convert. So as you see, by default, it's chose my Tether balance. And then from this drop down, we need to choose BNB. So you'd put in the amount of USTD that you want to convert into uh, BNB coin. And then you click on preview convert. And then you just say, click on that convert button. I don't need to do that because I've already got some. And the same is if you've got, say, Bitcoin in there and you want to convert it over to BNB, you just do the same process. Or if you don't have any USTD and you want to get some and you've got uh, some other coin, doesn't matter what the coin is, and you want to convert it into USTD, you just do the same process. From the drop down, you choose whatever coin you've got. And then from the drop down at the bottom here, you choose what coin you want to convert it into. Now you need those BNB funds so that you can pay for your trading fees. Because if you're paying for your trading fees inside Binance with BNB, you get a 25% discount. So it means more money that you can put in your pocket. So that's how easy it is to set up your uh, EasyBot account. The next thing you'll need to do is to set up a robot. And if you want to know how to do that, I've got another video and you'll find the link for that below this video. You have a great day and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye now.